wait for, for a little bit. I should stand on something. What? No. All right, we're live. I know there's no one right now. California time, it's late. But um, someone asked me, what is the position of the scapular when you're doing bench press? So Doug, how should we do that? Well, you have to keep in mind that power lifters have routinely pinched their shoulder blades to make themselves narrower so that they have more leverage. Mm -hmm. Because if you spread out, then things get longer and magnify more, right? So the idea of pinching your shoulder blades is really a, a power lifting technique. It's not a bodybuilding technique. Oh. So you're better off just keeping your shoulders flat. When you, when you push up, don't raise your shoulders forward. Just keep everything flat. The objective should be to squeeze the chest when you get to the top, which means you're not going to go like this, right? Just keep, keep them flat and bring your hands together, but keep your shoulder blades flat. How about your shoulders? Good. Good. Right. Jim. All right, let's do that. Let me put that here. All right. <laughs> no, they already know is this, that. Is this, is this too much? Too much. I'll, I'll, take, right. the, I'll take the line. I'll take these ones. And only because they're the unheaviest ones we have. We don't have heavy enough for you. So this is a good. Uh, Those boxes are fantastic because it's uncomfortable bringing them down with you and getting up. So that's just yeah. another way to hand them off to yourself. All right. So you mean keeping my shoulder blades this? Way? Just keep them flat. Don't pinch them and don't 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 lift them up. Okay. So if I finish. This way. That's not good. Why you, that? Because you can feel that you, you can't squeeze your pecs the same way. Right? If you lift them up, you can't squeeze your pecs as much as you can with them flat. Mm -hmm. And the arms position, should it be like this? I, I tend to hold them at a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing I do want to mention to you is that you see this angle of the forearm. It's very easy to let that dip forward a little bit. Uh -huh. So we have to remind ourselves all the time to kind of push that elbow under the weight. This? No, the other way. There you go. Right there. Right under the weight. So the forearm is neutral. The tendency for all of us is to tip that forearm forward. Now, if you have shoulder problems, especially if you have like pain right back here somewhere, that's what's happening is your infraspinatus is being strained because you're constantly fighting this thing from falling farther forward. Just bring your elbow under the weight a little bit better and you'll diminish the load on that infraspinatus. So you see, if you didn't tell me that, you know, I won't know it. Most so people, how, how would I know that? Well, most people aren't aware of it. Most people actually can't feel it, right? And since you can't see it, right? And he, by the way, even if you had a mirror right alongside you, it'd be difficult to turn your head. So I would just recommend that you just experiment bringing your elbow under a little bit and trying to gauge and sense whether your form is vertical and see how that feels on your shoulder when you bring your elbow underneath the weight. Okay. So um, that's the tip of the day. Uh, for the upcoming days, so we will be doing video, video series about the 16 biomechanical factors. And I believe this is very important, you know, because now that people start knowing about the Brick 20, they don't know why we only have like 20 exercises. By the way, like 20 exercises, but there are some uh, exercises that have more than one exercise. Right. Well, there are 20 movements. Yeah, right? 20 so, movements. Let me be clear about what this is. And some people think that we're trying to sell 20 magic exercises. Yeah. We're not. What we're doing is we're saying there are 16 parameters, 16 factors, and that every exercise can be rated kind of as a checklist with these 16 factors. So what we end up doing is we find that there are about 20 exercises that basically it's a little bit too high. Mm -hmm. there, 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 are 20, there are about 20 exercises that qualify as having met all the 16 factors. So what happens is when you have an exercise that maybe 
misses by a little bit, okay? It is second best. It is third best, fourth best, fifth best. The, the, the idea is to understand what constitutes best. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't identify what would theoretically constitute the best, then you have no gauge for anything else, right? You have to know, like, for example, all muscles pull, pull, pull toward their origin, right? If I'm the muscle insertion and you're, move, and you're the origin, I need to move directly toward you in order for that contraction to be ideal. Yeah. If I move over there a little bit, I'm not moving directly toward you. Now it's slightly compromised. If I move over there, more compromised. If I move over there, so you can see how, how much farther yeah. and farther away I'm getting. So it's important to know what is the ideal. Boom, that's the ideal. Mm -hmm. Less, 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 less. So if you're in a place where you don't have the ideal equipment, it's fine. Do the best you can, but don't expect the best results. Right. Know that there's a compromise and know why there's a compromise. Yes. Yeah, so that's the reason why we're doing these uh, videos. Uh, 16 video. Each video will cover uh, a biomechanical factor. These are like neurological, anatomical, and... Uh, well, here's the, here's the thing is that physics... Yes. Because because people tend to sometimes think that biomechanics is only physics. It's only math. And it isn't. Biomechanics means of the body, right? So it means physics combined with physiological things, anatomical things, and neurological things. When all of those things are met, you have biomechanics. Mm -hmm. Great point. It's not just physics. It's not just calculation of math. Right. Which is a great point. And Absolutely. you both know why. Yes, a great of point. So you will know, like, keep this in mind, because in the future you will see why uh, this is a, an important point. So uh, we're going to uh, grocery shopping now. So we will go live again. So stay tuned. See you later.